My name is Steve. Uh, I'm a market trader. I'm a Christian. I love life. I love people. I love his people. And uh, I like to proclaim the good news. I was the last person that was going to come to Christ, especially when my dad died. I became very violent and wanted to express that hurt to other people, of course. I invested all my time and energy uh, into making money, and I ended up in prison many times, many different prisons, until, of course, I got to know who God is. So it was important for me, very important, that people should know about God. We're heading uh, towards the market. This is where we used to work, literally five minutes. Um, so, yeah, I kind of gave 20 years uh, as a market trader. Hard work. 20 odd years, yes, yes. And, uh, Rain come shine, we, we worked it. The marketplace is um, a beautiful place to be. You can see the world go past you. You see the hurted, you can see the broken, you can see, you know, everything. And they want to talk, people want to talk. People are so hurted, they're lonely. And, and I understood that. I realized that I could do something to help these people. There was people coming in wheelchairs, we were praying for them, they wanted the prayers, they were asking for more tracks, they were asking for this and that. And then of course we had opportunities to give tracks out so they can read the literature, come back and ask us questions. I enjoyed being a market trader, I think it was a great thing. I love being outside. It was a job, I was making money. Again, sharing, sharing the love of God with people and uh, getting to a stage where I was feeling confident myself and, and God was blessing me and great things had gone on. And then overnight, everything stopped. I mean, it's a shame because a lot of traders know me, they still ring me up, you know, they, they, they miss me, you know, because I was a bit of the soul of the party, if you know what I'm saying. I was always encouraging them, having a laugh, having a giggle, keeping the markets going. So uh, this is where I was based um, every uh, Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, such a shame, brings back memories. It's a lovely people, lovely town. And the beautiful thing about it is a lot of people were taking the literature, they were listening to the good news. And uh, because we were, as Christians, we, we, we were smiling, we had no worries, you know, and, and I think that was the difference. People actually saw um, the difference uh, in me. They thought, who is this guy? Why is he all, always happy? They knew exactly what I was doing. Um, I think there was more behind it than that. I think they've always wanted me out for some particular reason, because I was a Christian or I was something different. Uh, probably the fact that I was always happy and uh, helping people and, and, and that kind of thing and winning the people, as to say, because people were coming for prayers and it was like a ministry growing and growing and growing. encouragement to people is that to actually stand up and be accountable. Don't be scared. There's nothing to be scared of. If it, the truth is the truth that sets you free and, and stand up and fight, you know, and just fight for what we believe in. We're Christians. Absolutely pleased, uh, delighted that uh, we had a victory. Uh, of course, it's uh, all, all praise to God, and, and I just pray that God blesses you, uh, the, the Christian leagues are amazingly and abundantly for the work that they're doing. Uh, to stand up, to give an account, to, to help Christians as a family uh, is very important. For other Christians to know that Christians are there with, with authority, and God's authority, to do justice and right. What matters is that we stood up as Christians, we had a voice and what we've done is a great victory. Uh, I believe it's a massive victory. I believe that we have a, a job and, and, and we have to do it, you know, and never be ashamed of the gospel. It's the most beautiful thing that happened.